So HTTP, Hypertext Transfer Protocol. See, before that, we should understand what is a protocol. A protocol is nothing but uh, a communication between one computer to another computer is happening via a program. This program is taking care of uh, sending the data from the source to the destination. You are able to see the data is transferring like this. You got lots and lots of layers in it. Via the layers, the data is transferred. And this is taken care by the protocol. Since it's happening in the networking part, they call it as networking protocol. And we should understand what is a web, web server. A client is the person who is asking some request and server is the one who is processing the request. And if the server is available in web, they call it as web server. And the page is available in web, they call it as web pages. So a web server is a software program which is serve the web pages to the web users, browsers. They call it as web server. Now, considering a computer is there, they are sending a request. And the request is called as hypertext transfer protocol request. The protocol which is used in web page and web server, they call it as HTTP. A request is sent and you are getting the response. A request is sent, you are getting the response. And the server is in the mid. The communication protocol between the client and server in the web pages or websites is called as HTTP, Hypertext Transfer Protocol. And it's application layer protocol for the World Wide Web. And the protocol is of different types 1.0, 1.1, 2.0 and the latest version is 2.4. And as I told about the client server model, so in the client server model, this protocol is used, Hypertext Transfer Protocol. The browser that request receives the display object is called client. And the server receives the request and respond to them. Now let's talk about how the website works. Actually, a client is there and is giving a URL, kashivinfrag.com or wikitiki.com. Automatically, it will go to the DNS and search for the IP address of the website. And this is, this is written here. And this IP address is sent to the web server and you are getting the website. This is how the process is. So DNS plays the roles of converting your website into an IP address. And they call this URL as called a uniform resource locator. So different URL, HTTP, it's a normal website, a secure website, a FTP, a news website, a telnet, and this is mail. Different URL schemes are mapped to different services. The host name is converted from your name to a 32-bit IP address. It's called DNS resolving. And afterwards, a connection is established between the server. So two kind of requests are there. One is like a get request and the post request. Get retrieves the information from your server. Okay, it is taking the data from the server. So I'm getting, I'm giving google.com. Okay, so I'm getting a request. So I'm getting the information from your server. Retrieve the HTML document or image, fetch search results. Send the information as part of URL. Okay, so I'm getting, uh, I'm searching for wikitiki.com, wikitiki. You are able to see this is the URL. So wikitiki, a request is sent here. Okay, this is how, this is called get request. Sends information as part of URL. And post, post is nothing but sends data to your server. Okay, authentication information, form data, everything. This is nothing but a user is uh, like a typing, a, creating a form. A form. Considering I got my wikitiki.com. And uh, over here, I'll go to my uh, over here part time job. This is where I'm trying to give data. I'm posting the data. So I give username and password, clicking sign button. Okay, automatically the post data to your server is happening. Authentication information 
and form data okay since from data as a http message not as part of url this one will be sent as a http message so two kind of messages are they one is get and post get is retrieving post is posting the data now let's talk about the http request what is the format we are able to see the format here messages are in ascii format yeah human readable carriage written and line feed indicates end of address so carriage written so the next line next line next line headers may communicate private information like a browser operating system so you are able to see the browser here what is the version operating system what type of protocol what is the host and what is the encoding and other informations okay if we talk about other information you are able to see get retrieve your file images what is the protocol and there are header information just get metadata okay so there are a lot of requests available and let's talk about this one later the host to which host i need to access whether it got uh, html text images images of gif and images of jpg and the encoding type is gzip the language is english and this is the character set iso is supporting and unicode text format is supporting and if there is any cookie data it will have it if you talk about the called method get retrieve the page head get the metadata post post the data put store enclosed document as uri delete remove the data linking linking with other one or unlinking it trace trace in the sense you are trying to trace whether uh, the web pages website is available or not and connect just to connect to that server and if there is any other options while connecting it's given us options which is available in scp 1.1 version so these 1 2 3 4 is available in http 1.1 and above versions so these are all some of the calling methods available in http request and here is the structure this one is the request line and these area is called request headers and the total called as request message header and there is a blank line to separate the header and the body and this is the body request message body so this is the request it's moving on you are able to see here you are able to see it here this is the request search and you got the request right you are able to see the request here so this is the encoded request which is of this format and if you talk about the response you are able to see 1.0 indicates this indicates the version of http and 200 indicates success if it is 100 or some start with 1 it's informational 2 it's success 3 it's a redirection moved permanently 4 it's a client error 4 over here 4 it's client error 5 it's server error and 500 internal server error 503 service unavailable 505 http version not supported over here 400 is bad request and 403 is forbidden and 404 is not found so these are all some of the http responses you will be receiving if i am accessing your website so what kind of responses you are giving so the general will have the connection and the date this is the response you are able to see http what is the version and what is the response type success okay server what is the server what is the content type it's a gif the content length when it is last modified when the server is or website is expiring what is the current date if there is any cache pragma information whether the connection is open or closed if there is any cookie this is the initial heading or header information of your http response so the http response will have a general information like connection and date it can have the request like what is the accept encoding and the user origin who requested and what is the response or the location and the server type entity what is the encoding types 
and if there is any hop by hop any authentications cookies and everything so these are the response information you will be receiving and this is the response structure thank you and this is our website uh, wikitiki.com if you go to our website automatically you are able to see lots and lots of tutorials with us for learning it's an online animated technological portal and if you click projects you are able to see lots and lots of projects here for free you can download the projects and you can use it and apart from this this is wikitiki core this is our youtube channel you get thousands of projects in our youtube channel and this is me venkat and uh, if you want to get lot of videos just subscribe to our channel and click this bell symbol to get regular notifications thanks for watching our wikitiki video